Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a nice functional equation in two ways. Let's start with the first method. So for my first method, as well as for my second method, I'm going to set this expression inside the radical, I mean not inside the radical, inside the parentheses. So the expression square root of x plus 1 minus square root of x, I'm going to set it equal to another variable. How about t? Now let's go ahead and isolate the square root of x plus 1 on the left hand side. So we're going to add square root of x to both sides. And then square both sides. Now the idea is to separate the radicals first, put them on different sides, and then square to get rid of the radicals as much as we can. The left hand side gives us x plus 1. The right hand side is like a plus b quantity squared and you know there's a formula for it which is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So this gives us x plus 2t square root of x plus t squared. Awesome. Now notice that the x cancels out. We can go ahead and cross it out. And our goal here is to solve for x, because we already know what t equals, but we want to know what x equals. So let's go ahead and isolate 2t root x and subtract t squared. I know I switched size here, but it's the same thing. Now since we're trying to solve for x, let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2t, like 2 and 2t. All right. And then we get square root of x, but we're trying to get to x, so let's go ahead and square both sides. So we, we do a lot of squaring here, obviously. And now this is going to give us x equals... So if you have a fraction that is squared, you know, you square the numerator, and then you square the denominator, and you make a new fraction. So if you square this expression, I can write it as t to the fourth power minus 2t squared plus 1. You could also write it as 1 minus something, but or 1 plus something. Uh, well, actually, it will be 1 minus. Anyways, I just wanted to write the t to the fourth first. Okay, the bottom one is going to be 4t squared. So that is the expression for x, but remember, our goal is to find f of x, and our expression had this expression on the left-hand side. Inside the parentheses, we had the radical, but now on the right-hand side, we have 1 over x. So let's go ahead and find out what 1 over x would be. Under certain conditions, of course, uh, we, we definitely don't want t to be 0 in this case. So if you flip this, you're going to get 4t squared divided by t to the fourth minus 2 2t squared plus 1. So that is equal to 1 over x, and 1 over x is on the right-hand side. And remember, this whole thing we set equal to t. So here's what we get from here f of t, which is the expression inside the parentheses, equals 1 over x, and 1 over x is equal to 4t squared over t to the fourth minus 2t squared plus 1. Awesome. So this gives us the value of f of t at any t value. Of course, t cannot be 1 here because that would make it undefined, so on and so forth. But other than that, it should be good. But how do I find f of x from here? I can definitely replace t with x since these are dummy variables. We can keep changing them as long as we stick, uh, we do the same thing on both sides. And this gives us f of x equals 4x squared divided by x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 1. Now one thing you can definitely do is take this expression and put it inside here like plug in the x value uh, here and you should be getting you know the same expression on the right hand side. Great so let's go ahead and take a look at the second method here. Our second method is very similar but it just varies in the way we solve this equation. So let's rewrite that equation. We set square root of x plus 1 minus square root of x equal to t. Now instead of you know, instead of um, putting the radicals on different sides, I'm just going to square both sides. I don't care if they're on the same side because we can still solve it. Let's go ahead and just square both sides. And now we get the following. Square root of x plus 1 squared is going to be x plus 1 
minus 2 times, you know, the 2ab in the middle, square root of x plus 1, times the square root of x, plus square root of x squared, which is x, that is going to equal t squared. Now let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit. I can add x plus x, which is 2x plus 1, minus these two radicals can be multiplied together. So that gives us under the radical x squared plus x. Don't worry, it's going to simplify later. And this equals t squared. Now, at this point, it would make sense if I put the radical on the right-hand side so that I can square both sides and get rid of all the radicals. So let's go ahead and do that. Bring over the t squared and put the 2 times the radical on the right-hand side. Great. So here, it makes sense to square both sides. Let's do that. And when we do, we, we kind of get um, a trinomial on the left-hand side, right? It's kind of like a plus b plus c squared. And I'm hoping that you do know that this equals a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2 times ab times plus 2ac plus 2bc. It's kind of like easy to prove. Uh, so let's go ahead and apply that formula to the left-hand side. We get 4x squared plus 1 plus t to the fourth. And then we're going to have the two-way products, but don't forget to multiply each one by 2. So, so 2ab, for example, would be 4x. 2ac would be minus 4xt squared. And then finally, the 2bc would be minus 2t squared. And on the right-hand side, it's an easy product. It's 4 times the expression under the radical. Great. Now, we can go ahead and simplify this, but let's go ahead and distribute the right-hand side first. So we get 4x squared. The left-hand side is just going to stay the same for now. Oops. So we are 2. And now this becomes 4x squared plus 4x. And now at this point, we can definitely we can definitely uh, simplify this expression because 4x squared cancels out and 4x cancels out. Nice. There's nothing left on the right-hand side, so I'm going to set that equal to 0. So we get 1 plus t to the fourth minus 4x t squared minus 2t squared is equal to 0. Now, remember, from here we are trying to solve for x, so let's go ahead and isolate x, the x term on the right-hand side. And let's write it on the left-hand side. So it looks like this. 4x t squared equals... And by the way, we don't have to do it that way. If it, that's confusing, I'll, I'm going to do the following. I'm just going to keep everything on the left-hand side except for 4x t squared. Here we go. Now, since our tr I'm trying to solve for x, let's go ahead and divide both sides by 4t squared. Because equality is kind of like two-sided thing, we can go ahead and keep the x on the right-hand side, which is fine. And that gives us the value of x. But remember, we're trying to get 1 over x from here because our function originally, you know, the thing is f of something equals 1 over x. So it would make sense if you could find 1 over x from here like before. So 1 over x is just going to be the reciprocal, which is 4t squared divided by t to the fourth minus 2t squared plus 1. And as before, it's just going to give us the same thing, f of t equals this, which is 4t squared divided by t to the fourth minus 2t squared plus 1. And to find f of x from here, we can just replace t with x on both sides. And don't worry, you can use x uh, again. It doesn't mean those two x's are the same. They, they're not. But we can just keep using, you know, uh, the same variable. And this brings us to the end of this video. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.